So tonight, Kyle is working on these parts underneath here. And I'm going to help him with what I can. You want something like, like this? Yeah. has just one piece left he did this one so grateful if you guys are new to the channel you should definitely check out some of the old vlogs and see what our house looked like before all this renovation that Kyle has done not only did he renovate like our whole house but he also did it while he was dealing with Lyme disease so that's why he took a big break He's healthy now, but he does things slowly now. So that's why. Well, we are literally snowed in. <laughs> But I'm really nervous because there's like ice in here and if water's in there, that's how mold forms. So, I mean, it's solid. So I don't really know what to do about it. I'm trying not to, I'm a little nervous though about mold. So hopefully it's just dry enough that none will form. This isn't mold, that's rust, but we got hard to tell from here. We got a lot of snow. Are you get it? Let's see. I am gonna shove it in the crack here, but I had no idea yesterday that the snow was actually coming in. Okay. It's very dirty screen from the snow, but we definitely got a lot. Detoxing. Please ignore the mess. I do get asked a lot of times what I use. This is coffee for enemas. Get it from Amazon. And it's tested to be mold free and it's organic. I hate the way it smells, but it's good for you. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's no way I'm going to be able to do it all, but. I do just a little bit of shoveling and cleaning off my car. Whew. I have a lot of layers on. Oh wow, it's definitely deeper than I even thought it was. <laughs> Look at that. Definitely really deep. A little deeper than I thought. <laughs> so I won't be able to do a lot, but I'll get my car at least cleaned off. around my car. I have it on the stand, so sorry it's a little hard for me to show you. Look at that. So much snow. There's no way I'm gonna do this. <laughs> it's the thought that counts, right? That. It's a lot. Okay. I gotta show you guys. At these drifts, like, it's way up in my boot. See the drift there? My car. And look at this. Isn't that crazy? Whoa. Oh my gosh, it's up to my knees. Look at that one. I don't know if you guys can tell how big it is. <laughs> but it's really high. I not think we got this much snow. Ooh, my mom's tracks. She brought me water earlier. Whew. Yeah. Do you guys get snow where you live? Okay, see, I 
not that much. <laughs> I just had to do it like layers. I have the will, but my wrists hurt way too much. But look, this is how much I still have to do. <laughs> this, this is actually the street. So, it'd be nice if work got canceled again tomorrow, but I don't think it will because the streets will be cleared. So, Kyle's going to have to do the rest. But at least I did that much, right? <sighs> Alright, let's go inside. Hey guys, I want to show my face. I'm shaking. I'm so sick. <laughs> Lime and snow removal do not mix. <laughs> got back from dance I'm not feeling well I feel like every other every other update is like this uh, as you guys know I had some better weeks and probably the best weeks I've had in at least a year and it was looking up and then it just took a nosedive um, so I've just been really struggling that's why I've not been vlogging been way too sick trying really hard not to be discouraged but it is difficult feeling so awful. I've been praying like if there's any more mold, we'll find it. But mold aside, aside, Lyme disease is just tricky. And I think a lot of it is I have MTHFR, which is a mutated gene that doesn't allow you to detox very well. So all my detoxing I do and everything like that, it's good, but it's not as beneficial to me as it is someone else. That's why I have to detox as much as I do. Sorry, the laundry's going. That's what that noise is. But uh, one of the reasons why it's just so difficult for me, um, treating is very good, but I can get overly, I can treat and then I get toxic. And I think that's what's happening because treatment was going really well. I had to uh, go down to like just a couple, um, just a couple dosages a day versus as many as I'm supposed to. And then I started a new month and that's different herbs. So it's just been tricky and I've not been feeling well. So uh, herbs have just been hitting very, very, very hard. And like I said, as I do that to heal, as I treat and detox, I just kind of go like this. And I think I just got too much. It was doing too much and my body couldn't handle it. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. There's um, biofilms in your body of the disease and they get busted by like cyst busters like stevia and other herbs or other treatments. But then your body has to, your other uh, treatments have to sweep that away. And if it opens too much of it at once and doesn't sweep it away, that's how you can just get so toxic. That's not the best way to explain it. I'm sorry. I've made a lot of videos explaining actual Lyme disease and stuff before. And uh, you can look through and see those. Uh, I just don't feel well, so I'm not going into all details right now. So, yeah, that's how it's been going. Not super well for me over here. That's why I've not been able to vlog a whole lot. But I got home from dance, taking my herbs, only taking half the dose. And I'm going to go ahead and get my detoxing going on a bath I already did my IMRS mat this morning have some laundry going now and then I'll check in with you guys after I detox <laughs> 